Welcome back to another episode of our six-person combat showcase on Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, now there was an issue with uh, a l another video I was recording, um, which the recording was going fine, uh, but it was an Isbale fight, and the six-player party mod actually screws up the cutscene before the Isbale fight. Um, for anybody who's done that one before or seen it on this channel before, uh, it's one where you get kind of like captured, sort of, knocked out. Um, and you're in this pit, and they try to electrocute you, poison you, stuff. Um, and it requires you to be in conversation. Anyway, Isbale fight got messed up. We might not be doing Isbale. Um, the other video that messed up was, uh, the Linder Chem fight. I was trying to do it in the library instead of in his vault, just to show a different scene than, uh, the one I've done on the channel before. You know, mix it up. Uh, but I don't know why. Uh, my, my, well, I do know why. My headset before was kind of messed up and it would just cut out randomly and that one cut out like I guess right after I did my mic check before hitting record so it had no audio from me just the gameplay and I didn't want an hour of just combat without you know narration of what we're doing so um, I might re-record the Linder Chem one uh, because I do still have that save file on here ready to go I think um and the Isbale one, I'm going to see if I can get it to work with six people. Maybe just leave two people out of the area. I don't know. We'll find out. But for today, we're not doing either of those two fights. Today, we are doing the Loic the Immaculate fight. Now, he's going to be a mage over here. I um, haven't gotten close enough for him to start rendering yet, but he's over there. Uh, he's got a bunch of Void Woken in here and this Death Fog, which I, I love the look of this Death Fog. Like, the way you move the camera around and the Death Fog, like, looks like it's not actually moving or it's moving with you, I can't tell. It just, it looks trippy, and I love it. Um, but we're going to be doing this fight today. Uh, this one, I don't think I did in my last combat showcase, because, um, again, I think I screwed something up. Oh, because it was on honor mode, and uh, I forgot to hit record, and Losa, right here, actually, uh, died in the honor mode run, and uh, I, I could not reload it, because it was honor mode. All right, so we're going to come over here, stealthy, 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 sneaky, 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 and avoid those traps. Uh, now, if I use peace of mind, Losa should be high enough initiative to outspeed Loic. So we're going to use a peace of mind scroll on Losa. And the reason we're starting with Losa here uh, is because she has Tornado and can clear out all this Death Fog. And I really want to clear out all this Death Fog. That is a lot of those little guys in there. Okay. All right, so what we're going to be doing first, just right there, tornado, clear all that out. Okay, no more death fog over there. Now, there are a few barrels of death fog scattered around here. There's a barrel of death fog right there. Uh, there's one right there, and I think this one, yeah, and this one up here. I don't know if there's any more or not back here, but there might be. Uh, so this guy, Loic, can teleport us into the death fog, and also he can teleport the death fog barrels onto us. Uh, so we really don't want that to happen. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is, you know, I was going to do that just to get the haste effect, but I actually, that's not going to actually help me much. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have Losa take a invisibility potion, and then she's going to end her turn, and then we're going to delay turn uh, and get everybody over here, because if you just try to run up here with a full party, like, people are going to die. And with the difficulty settings, I mean, if you look, they're at level 26. I know we're at level 23, which is higher than you'd normally get, but they're at 26. Like, that's absurd. <laughs> um, so I really... Oh, he used Heart of Steel. Look at that elite enemy mod making it harder on me. Um, I really don't want to have them all just get teleported into Death Fog and die. And even though, uh, you know, we're going to have everybody pop in, there's still going to be some issues with people dying. I guarantee it. Like, this is just too high difficulty modifier in the combats. All right, so we're going to have the rest of the party dive on in. If I can find them. Here we go. All right, so when they go in, i got to make sure I am doing this right. So we have... Blue Teleporter Pyramid, right there. Green one, we have to give to Losa. I guess we could have done any of them, but yeah, we're going to do blue and green. Alright, so let's double check that she is up. Okay. So actually, let's give that one to... I keep moving the wrong direction. Where are they at? Here they are. Alright, let's actually... 
I uh, have Beast give that blue one to Fane. I didn't realize he had room at the bottom of his bar there. Uh, as usual, we're going to buff up beforehand, um, and we're going to actually make uh, Fane be the kind of priority here. That. That. And haste on himself. And then spam click this and hit green. Okay. And he still has haste control. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And did I hit? I didn't hit rest, son of a bitch. Oh, well, that's fine. All right, so now Los is up. We are going to take Loic and put him... Actually, does he heal from fire? Because I'm pretty sure those guys explode into necro fire. And if he heals from fire, yeah, he does. I don't know if I want to put him over there then. Uh, yeah, we're still going to throw him over there. Why not? I want to pop him right in the middle of all those guys. So that when we use this thunderstorm here, he gets hit by as much of it as possible. Uh, first, we're going to make sure all of them are wet so they take a little bit more air damage. I'm going to try and not use the T on this fight. Ooh, cursed water. Okay, okay. Alright, so some of them are going to die, a little bit laggy, because there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So what I'm going to do... Actually, does he have anybody else around him? No, all of them died. Okay. Alright, uh, who is marked by Fane's armor? That one is. Okay, so I'm actually going to have Fane delay his turn. And I don't want to actually go into the Death Fog, for obvious reasons. We're going to teleport that guy over there. Now, Loic should have something. Maybe not a weakness, but... Okay, only 10% resistance to water damage. That's amazing for us. So I'm going to do that. And then this is all electrified. Yes, that won't actually be electrified. How's, how's his air resistance? 50%. That's not great. I was hoping it'd be closer to what the water is. Okay, um, that's fine. We can still summon up a dragon right there. It says water infusion, but it says immune to air damage. We'll, we'll see what he got. Sometimes the mod is finicky with uh, mixed elements like that. With elect Well, I guess it's just electrified elements. Electric blood, electric water. And then they're cursed. Gets a little bit more weird stuff into it. But All right. Um, so he does, in fact, do air damage with his basic stuff. All right. But... Uh, Loic only has 10,000 armor right there, and Terrify is a fucking phenomenal ability with this mod. Uh, and does a lot of damage. Uh, we can knock his armor almost all the way down. And if I do that, yeah, it's going to hit that Death Fog Barrel, and I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Because it'll kill my dragon. Um, Alright, so now we've got that all taken care of. We can just shoot that guy. And I know we just uh, terrified him, but that was mostly just to get the armor down. Oof, okay. I was going to say, I would like to still just hit Loic. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We're actually going to boost up red, because I want him going a little bit higher in the turn order. Don't know if he's going to be able to... He just passes up his own dragon. Okay. Um, and then right here, I do want to get rid of any... You know, I don't really want to use source for that. I'll just use the normal throw dirt or throw dust right there just to clear out a little bit of an area um and then i think i really do want to get rid of all this necro fire cursed fire whatever it is uh, so, oh that somehow just popped a death fog barrel by blessing that fire that doesn't make any sense okay um it's interesting Yeah, let's just try to chill one of these guys. Am I going before them? No. Alright. I fit in low sour though. I'll be alright. Okay. 
beastie beastie boy. Gonna come over here. Get him stabby stabbed. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I can just fucking turn him into a chicken. What am I? Th I'm thinking the magic armor's got to go down. I can just chickenify him. All right. Uh, now we're gonna have Fane boost up with that. Boost up with that because that's gonna be gone next turn. And then over here, smack both of them. Now Fane can go in the death fog without an issue because he is undead. Uh, smack both of them. Okay, that triggered his armor, which refreshed... Wait, did I use time warp already? Yeah, that refreshed time warp, which is kind of cool. Um, and now I can just whittle down his uh, physical armor a bit. And then reapply hasten, because it's going to wear off next turn. So that's a net neutral, and then the next turn it'll be a net positive. Now, with the way this works, I don't know if time warp is actually gonna work a second time. I know that it has some issues uh, with being refreshed like that. Or just being refreshed. Not necessarily like that. So let's find out. Okay. It works fine. Love it. Alright. Challenge him because it'll just make me uh, get a little boost if he dies. And I don't think he's going to last long enough for it to not give us that boost. Okay, Los has still got that thunderstorm going, so he'll get a little bit of damage there. He does regenerate armor. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, if I go over here, is there any way for me to keep these guys back? Don't think so. Yeah, not with 8,000 health, there isn't. Uh, that guy's actually got the Devourer's Mark, so I'm just going to use that for the most damage I can get out of 1 AP. And then just uh, hope for the best. Losa, you want to uh, end your turn there, sweetie? There we go. Okay. I thought that chicken was going to, like, peck at the death fog barrel or something. I got real nervous there for a second. <laughs> Alright. Uh, if I go there... Oh, that's just cloth. Okay, I don't know why I thought that was, like, a solid barrier. If I go here, I am right next to that death fog barrel and can die at any second. Alright, this one has the mark... Uh, so let's just, wait, how much damage does that say? 3,000? Oh, jeez, yeah, okay, I thought he had 18,000, he's only got 1,800 physical armor, that's not even an issue. Uh, that one's up next, and I think Sabeel is still suffering from adrenaline, uh, wearing her down. So let's see if we can get Ifen. 5,000, oh, I can just knock him down too, what am I thinking? Value. Okay, that was easy. And then can I hit this guy in the back? No, there is a roof on that building. You just can't see it because there's an enemy in there, so it moves it out of the way. Alright, uh, I guess that's it for now. Alright, and then Sabeel. Can't target in there. Uh... If I hit that thing, yeah, it's going to pop the death fog barrel. That's good. You know what? Let's just delay her turn. See what happens. Uh, so I'm kind of same boat with Beast. Although Beast can hit this guy. Yeah, Beast doesn't have any chance of accidentally hitting that with physical attacks. I mean, in real life, if there's a chicken there and he's trying to stab it with a bunch of daggers, yeah, I wouldn't be comfortable with it. But, you know, in this game, he's fine. Alright, so now we are going to boost up that dragon. And I think I'm going to use that on the construct. Because I never charm stuff, and I want to charm some stuff. Okay, ooh, is that Fane electrocuted over there? It is. Alright, and that's still going to be fire damage, actually. So he's going to heal from that, so that's actually not a good idea. Uh, he is undead, however, so let's heal him up. God, that's such a tiny amount of damage. Oh, is he too far away? Right, we'll just do two normal attacks there. And then I didn't realize Fane was electric. Ooh, I can't hit him with that. Okay, can I hit him with it if I move up? Target is too far. That is 
so close though. There we go. Okay. Um, and then, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I guess that's it for that. Uh, I don't think. Is that still cursed fire? Nope. Okay, so we got rid of the fire at least. Alright, Fane, we need to do something about this man. Let's knock him down. Love it. Okay. I don't have Spark Master on anymore, which is actually fine. Um, I was going to try and terrain transmutation, move some death fog around. But there's no good spot. To, I guess I could just put it back here somewhere. Because I'm going to be teleporting out. Um, I mean, just, just get the stuff around them so I don't accidentally step in it. Because that has happened before and it sucks. So let's just move that. Give them a little bit of breather. Uh, in case they need to move through there. Uh, Lose is out of range for that. Uh, Ifen's already hit. You know what? Let's give Ifen peace of mind. Because his crit chance is a little bit lower than I would like for his to be. Um, let's see. These guys are still pretty high. Magic. That guy's... Yeah. Looks like we're... Okay, this guy we can use... Okay. You know what? She's going to go straight for Loic. God, he took no damage from that. Okay, that'll get most of us. Okay, I don't know how he's chilled, even though he's got armor. Seems a little bit weird to me. Um, let's see, here's the thing. I don't know what is and isn't. There's not really any death fog right around there. So let's swap that bug. Um, I was going to say with Beast, but maybe with this guy. Nope, cannot swap them. Okay, we'll swap it with Beast. Just get him over there. Okay, uh, so these two, low physical armor. That one's up next. How long does that Devourer's Mark have? One more turn. Uh, you start taking damage if he doesn't die. Uh, after killing an enemy, your max vitality. Okay, so I think... The thing that recharges all Fane's powers is not going to happen if Ifen kills this guy. Now, 9,000. That's 2,000, but then the crit... Where, where is the crit damage at? I can never remember when I'm actually looking for it. Oh, 175. Okay. So that'll deal... Not quite double. So yeah, it'll, it'll do about 4,000. And then the high ground bonus... It starts at 50. I've got extra 30, so 80. Yeah, that's not going to be able to kill, I don't think. I could try, but I, I don't think that's going to kill, even with a sky shot. Uh, yeah, I guess just knock it down again. Alright, then we got this thing to deal with. Uh, da, da, da. Let's very, very carefully not hit that barrel. Okay, I should freeze him. And then... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We could try to get their magic armor down a little bit. Oh, sh I could have got their magic armor. Yep, yep, there we go. Uh, so Ifen is uh, Death Fog influenced, uh, which is not good. It means as soon as his turn starts, he's going to die from Death Fog. Um, do I have Living on the Edge? I don't, which is good because that means I can learn it real quick. I don't, I don't know why I thought that was Living on the Edge. They should both have got Purple Man on them. All right, so Living on the Edge. Uh, no. oh, I don't have silencing stare with bread. To learn that, got plenty of room in my s memorized skills page there. That's not even the right. Thing. There we go, living on the edge. 
Alright, now can red get over there without dying? That's the real question with three total action points. Does he have nether swap? I don't think he does. Plenty of room for nether swap. This is how you decide what new skills to learn, guys. Alright, uh, so this guy is not in there. And Ifen cannot die now. Woo! Okay. Problem uh, short-term solved. God, that is dealing just no damage, and I hate it. <laughs> One HP. All right. Uh, you know, does I don't want to overstep here. Oh no, I should have used Death Wish already. Never mind. Too late for that. Uh, well, the good news is uh, that should kill, and that'll deal something. Okay. And then let's see. Oh, is Loic at all crowd controlled? He is not. Let's throw that on him. And actually, it looks like Beast is crowd controlled somehow. So let's armor frost him. I don't know what stunned him. Probably Losa's thunderstorm, if I had to guess. And since this guy is already silenced, uh, do we already have high ground? We do. Uh, let's just shoot him. No need to make it complicated. Okay. And do, 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 do. oh, he's now the mark. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, I really don't like... Oh, okay, I guess that's not that much damage anyway, that 5,000. Okay. Uh, Losa can... Avoid that death fog barrel. Should kill that. Lovely. Um... Well, I could heal Ifen, but I don't think it's gonna do... I could heal Beast. Again, I don't think it's really going to do anything, but, yeah. And then that will clear out a little bit of death fog and necrofire over there. I don't know if that's actually going to be helpful or not, but we'll see. Nice. So now we just have Loic, and then we've got this uh, awakened construct that we have uh, mind controlled at the moment. Alright, is that... Yeah, I don't think... Oh, he is in backstab. Okay, it's hard to see with all the effects. I wasn't sure if he was actually in backstab range. Now, I am... T yeah, I am tempted to just turn him into a chicken. Oh, I can't just turn anyway. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's do that, because I want to try his, uh, his big attack. Alright, so this guy now... We can start hitting him. Uh, he's on fire, so I should probably use fire damage, I guess, would make sense. Because that's going to be lowering his resistance. Yeah, only, okay, fire or air. Um, I'm actually going to Shackles of Pain Loic. Okay. And just smack him a bit, because that's all I can really do with this dragon, because he's going to heal from fire, and if I use area effects, it's going to hit the death fog barrel. Alright, he is blind, slowed, shackles of pain. Let's knock him down, too. Why not? Okay. Uh, Ifen, you need to get out of there, buddy. Let's let's fly you over here. Okay, I don't know if that goes away now or next turn or whenever. Uh, da, 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 da. you know, I would like just the normal throw dust, but that seems like it's not going to happen here, huh? Uh, yeah, fine, we'll do that. Blind him. Okay. And then, uh, Losa, we're gonna we're gonna clear out some more death fog here. 
It's got a pretty decent uh, area that it hits when you aim that. Okay, now I have no idea. Like, what does this actually do? Receiving damage each turn. Okay, so that was a ton of damage that it received before, so... Can I not? Oh, he's grounded. Okay. Um... I'll just hit him with that, I guess. Did that just heal him? That looked like it just healed him. I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention, but that looked like that bar was going in the wrong direction. Alright. Yeah, here we go. Blind him again. Uh, this time with the blind, we're going to immobilize him, so I don't think he's got any like AoE self-centered attacks. So that should pretty well neutralize him. Alright, I'm going to try... Blessing the Cursed Fire again. Probably should have blessed the uh, Red Prince. Okay. So now that I am sneaking, Beast has Gorilla, which when sneaking increases the damage by 40%. And then this increases the damage. It doubles it. If you're sneaking or invisible. So. Alright. Cool. That was a little laggy. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, no, that does hurt him. It looked like the air damage was healing him before, and I did not know why. I was very confused. This makes more sense. Uh, let's let's move you over. Oh, no, that's going to be right in the death fog, isn't it? Is it? Visually, yes, but game-wise, no. Okay. Right, yeah, let's get you out of there, Red. And then, um, this guy's already shocked. Let's stun him. And we can wrap this up. Do that not? Oh, because it's grounded. Does grounded make him not able to be just teleported? Down here, though, he's got some immunities. Wet, chilled, poison, frozen. I think that comes, like, ha like, the wet, chilled, frozen, I think, comes from being on Necrofire. Alright, whatever. Um... I thought I had rain on Red Prince. I should learn rain real quick, too. <laughs> We're not going to. But, uh, yeah, let's make another totem. Shoot him. Totem died. It was in Death Fog. Love to see it. Alright, Fane, let's move over here. Uh, I mean... He's got 14,000. Yeah, let's... Let's Medusa head this guy. Just walk up. He's petrified. Let me just do a little bit of uh, magical damage. And he should be uh, all set. Thought that would be enough. Alright. Don't think that's going to quite do it. Nope. And then Iphon's going to die from Death Fog. You know, that, you know what? For all this Death Fog and everything, only one death, I will take it. It's not terrible. All right, Loic the Immaculate, dead. Uh, it wasn't too bad, honestly. Like, with all this death fog and the way these fights normally go, I fully expected a lot more of the team to go down. So that was uh, kind of nice. Tornado helps, being able to clear out large chunks of death fog. Dust blast and just the standard throw dust uh, also help for clearing out specific spaces. Um, I don't know what happened where I blessed the fire... And then it caused another barrel to burst somehow. I'm not really sure what happened there. But, uh, yeah. As long as you can not run straight into the death fog. Or be an idiot who summons their totems into death fog. You should be alright. Uh, so I'll go back and try to fix the uh, Isbail and Linder Chem videos. But after those two... And I, I'm not 100% sure that I'll be able to fix the Isbail one. Um, and the Linder Camp, I think I still have a save file for that. Barracks, maybe? Yeah, that one right there. So I can go back and do the Linder Camp for sure. Don't know if I'll be able to do the Ispale. And then after that, I think it's just the Doctor fight. Which is the real final fight, let's be, let's be honest. Um, and then the final fight. So, uh, yeah, we're coming up to an end here. But uh, until then, I will see you next time.